Hi guys, I'm James McIntosh and beside me is Gosport's latest signing, Zach Sharp. Zach, welcome to the club. How does it feel to have joined? Yeah, it feels good to join. Um, I was at the club uh, a few years ago um, and then I went off to elsewhere and played for other teams. Um, but no, it definitely feels good to be back. Well, like you mentioned just now, you've obviously done a bit of work with Gosport in the past. I think you did a bit of work with the under-23s. So can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, so obviously I've known Pat and Joe for a long time now. Um, and they obviously created the centre of excellence at Gosport, uh, I think, four years ago. Uh, and last year, due to their commitments at Petersfield, the 23's job come like opened up. Um, so I went in there, Aaron Haggard, and we took on the 23's last year. And we had a very good season, to be fair. A lot of the boys progress into men's football, which is what it's all about. So it was really good last year, yeah. So obviously you did this bit of work with Gosport in the past. So do you think it'd be quite easy to fit into the squad, as you know the foundations quite well already? Um, yeah, like I said, obviously I've I've been best mates with Pat and Joe now for years. So me and Pat and Joe know each other inside and out, really football wise and outside of football. Um, so coaching wise and playing philosophies and stuff, we are pretty much all on the same page. Um, hence why I went over to Petersfield last year and, and helped them out and played under them at Petersfield at, um, in the Wessex one. Um, but with my coaching and stuff, I've worked under Pat and Joe. I've worked alongside of them for so many years now. I know how they run. I know how they work. I know like the centre of excellence, how it clicks and everything. Just just being friends with them and just watching them over the last few years and stuff. Yeah, because you mentioned Petersfield and what a season you had last season. Obviously, you got promotion. You got to the final of the Wessex Cup. Can you tell me a bit about your season? Because obviously, you were a major part of the season. Yeah, uh, realistically uh, last year was unbelievable I just think looking back now it's memories that would probably be very hard to beat if I'm honest um, obviously putting along putting aside like the relationship with me Pat and Joe like winning things with your best mates is unbelievable but the squad we had there the togetherness the volunteers the atmosphere from day one from day like from the last day was just unbelievable and like I said it's probably memories that will be very very hard to beat yeah, because obviously it's not just Petersfield you've worked with. So you've obviously played with teams like Baffins and Portchester and you know the league quite well. So are you looking forward to this new challenge in the Southern Premier? Yeah, definitely. I played in the Southern Premier for Gospel and for Blackford and Langley a few years ago. I, we won, I was playing with Blackford and Langley when they won the Southern Division 1 title. Um, so I've played in that in that in in around that level and I've had experience in the Southern Prem. Personally, I think the last time I was in the Southern Prem for Gosport. I believe I probably didn't get the chances and the credit I deserved. Um, so I'm hoping this time round I'll get those chances and I'll get the credit I deserved regarding like the club and like the local area and stuff. Because I do feel last time I was at the club, I didn't really get enough credit like I deserved. But this time I think it'd be different. Yeah, 100 percent. And like you said before, you're obviously great friends with Pat and Joe. And then obviously when Pat and Joe made the transition to join Gosport, was this always going to be the obviously choice to join Gosport? Yeah, definitely. Like I enjoyed the I probably played my best football last year under Pat and Joe. Um, not because they're my best friends, but because I think they understand me as a player and they trusted me in certain situations. And I think for me as a player, I just gave them a lot more. Like I ran through a brick wall for him most of the, every game. Um, but as soon as they got the job to Gosport, it was a no-brainer, really. Like, Pat and Joe spoke to me straight away. And I think they didn't even have to ask the question. I think they knew I'd follow him straight away. And obviously, you'll know Pat and Joe so well. And what they're building at the moment, I know they've obviously got a bit of criticism for being such young managers. But can you tell me a bit about their management style and how good is it, really? Yeah, like I've, I've said this to many people. I believe age... It's just a number and I think it's quite ridiculous really people criticising them because of their age. Um, they've done, in last year, they've done something that managers haven't done in the last 10 years of their manageable careers in, that, in those leagues. Um, last year we had no budget at Peacefield. We had players, young. we had a very, very young squad um, and they just built a foundation and they just built it and just kept on building on it each game. Um, the management styles... It's different to others I've played under. However, they two, they two, and they bounce with each other really well. Um, they both played at a very good level. They both were very good footballers. Both probably should still be playing now, if I'm honest. Um, but <laughs> they, they've chosen to go down the coaching route and fair play to them because I think they will prove a lot of people wrong in the coming years. Definitely, 100%. So, in some sorts of way, would you maybe say Gosport's a bit of a wild card this season, going into the season? 
Um, yes and no, I'd say. Um, I, if I'm honest, it can't be no worse than last year. Looking from yeah. afar, looking from afar last year, I think they struggled at times. Um, I think with Pat and Joe in there now, they'll have a philosophy and they'll have a style. I think the fans will go through the gates knowing what they're going to get, rather than the last few, say last few, probably say last five years. I don't think no one really understood what was going on down there at times. Um, they've got some very good players in the squad, and obviously, thankfully, some most of them have stayed, which is great. Um, so I do feel like Pat and Joe will have a a sense of like direction, and I do feel like it'd be a good feeling around the club next year. So you could say it's a free hit. But I know Pat and Joe and they last year was technically a free hit and look where we ended up. So I think once they get the taste of it and understand the level and understand the teams and their away stadiums and just the game in general, I think they will have a good feeling about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because 100%. And like you mentioned with the young players, I think Pat and Joe, they did very well with the young players like Petersfield. And hopefully it'll be something they did with Gosport as well. But you yourself, you came through the ranks with um, obviously non-league teams. So maybe you could offer this experience to the younger ones. And maybe this is why you've got such a crucial role in the team, perhaps. Yeah, definitely. And obviously next year, I'm the under-18s manager at the club as well. Um, so that pathway next year would hopefully create a good pathway for the boys. Um like I mentioned before, like a, just a, a togetherness feeling for the club, which I think is crucial. I think that's what they need down there to get more fans in the more fans in the gates, uh, more support from the by, from the sides. I think that would create a great atmosphere for the club. And with the young younger boys feeling the sense of they have a chance to play for the first team and have a chance to train and have and have a chance to get experiences in other men's team, I think that would be very good for the club. Yeah, because 100%. And you said you were getting this role in management. So when Pat and Joe brought you over, was this kind of the ambition to try and start getting into this management a bit more? Um, obviously, last year, um, I, I was obviously the 23s manager. I am I, I am looking into getting into management and coaching somewhere, somewhere in the future. However, I'm just not ready to stop playing yet. I had a th thought this season, I could put, maybe potentially could have gone for the peaceful job myself or with Connor Hall, who's got the job. Um, however, I just thought I weren't ready to step away from playing yet. I feel like I owe it to myself to give it another go at this level and to prove people are wrong along the way. Yeah, 100%. And then what are your ambitions actually for this season then, for both yourself and the team? Um, so for myself, it's just to cement myself into the starting eleven straight away. Um, it'll be hard It'll be hard to start with, because obviously playing Wessex 1 and jumping all the way up to 7 Prem is going to be a lot of different... Like, the levels are completely different, um, but I back myself. I know Pat and Joe back me as well. Um, so for me, it's just have a good pre-season under my belt, cement a place in the starting eleven, uh, and then go from there, really. And then regarding the team ambition, um, Pat and Joe, I've not really spoke to them, really. Like They've kept their cards close to their chest regarding that at the moment. Um, and fair play to them, because obviously I know they're my best mates, but they are managed at the same time, so they can't tell me everything. Um, but I feel like... Um, anything will be better than last season and probably the previous years. Um, but I think just for them, I think their ambition is probably to cement a playing philosophy and a style of play and make Gosport a hard team to play against because we're all young, we're ready and we're just ready to go. Yeah, 100%. Oh, it was great speaking to you today, Zach. Welcome to the team and final words, up the borough. <laughs>